And welcome back, class. It's Dragon Age 2. When we left off, we had just finished the Bone Pit. I think we were going to head back and talk to... Oh, oh. Yeah, we were going to talk to uh, that jerk who owns the Bone Pit and tell him that everyone who worked there was boned. But he's boned too, because the Bone Pit is boned. Had enough yet? Tap out. Okay. There we are. So a human, an elf, and a dwarf walk into a bar. Not interested. The human says, You're lucky you're so short. That hurt like mad. <laughs> well you played, Anders. Me, well played. Why waste a perfectly good setup? Yeah. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. I'll cuff you. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But... I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. Hmm. Yeah, they won't be safe. The bone pit's hazardous at best. And if the dragons return... I appreciate your concern for my workers' welfare. I could use someone like you to ensure their continued safety. What do you mean by that? Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I don't like you, though. I'm offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I see. I once sold a seat cushion so he is to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? I'll do it for the workers, but still pay me. Seems like the miners could use protection. And an advocate. And an advocate. Unionize! So, to our first order of business. We replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. Hmm. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Oh. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I've got a sinking I'll feeling about do. this. Oh, Evelyn liked it. It's good. <sighs> okay. So, anything we can the get best here? Armor coin can buy. Well, I'm not sure I believe that. But, I can certainly sell you all this stuff I'll never be able to use. How about, how about that? March of Thunder, boots, robes. How about this? Any, anything here? No? I still need to know about this junk. I really need to look that up to see if I can sell it or not. I don't need this stuff, I don't need that, I don't need that. That stuff, yeah, I don't need that either. There's no point in even selling that. I mean, it's a, it's an unlock that you get uh, when you register the game, but I'm not a rogue. I don't get it. Whatever. Whatevs. So let's go and talk to this other Orlesian. There are a lot of Orlesians around here. I wonder if we'll get to go to Orle. Maybe in the next game. Will no one help me? I will help you find your wife. What do wife. you mean you can't help me? They suck. I this don't. This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife so has chosen got the to king's leave, hairstyle. there's nothing we can do. Ninet is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. Oh, maybe I won't help you. Here. I want his hat, though. I know, it's a helmet. I just call everything to put on your head a hat. Why are we still paying those sluggards? You should pay someone else. Like me. I like being paid. I do. If you can find Ninette, I will gladly pay you. Who's Ninette and why do you need that her? foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. I'm not dragging anyone. She needs to be Just, dragged home. It's not gonna happen. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have... <clears throat> Done something to her. Well, their fears seem Even well founded. If... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Hmm. 
Do you think Ninette might be in trouble? Could be. It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. Okay. <laughs> She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. Oh, so he's like a gold digger, and he's upset that she's found a younger model. Well, isn't this a twist? You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. So you've been cuckolded. I'd be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. Yeah. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. He sucks. Well, it wasn't always like this. Yeah, it was. We were in love. Young love. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes I wonder if I dreamed those years. Well. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Has she? Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Well, you know, you knew what she was happening. When you got Why into would her this. family think you did something to her? Because you're sketchy they as think hell. I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe yeah. this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Well, this is going to piss off Aveline again, but... Uh, this guy is so pathetic that I feel sorry for him. And I at the least don't want him to be ruined financially just because his wife cuckolds him. Even if it is because he's pathetic. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. That's an evocative name. I didn't know she visited Halls until Jethan sent a letter. To our house. Oh. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Oh my god, that poor man. <laughs> Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, sir. There's nothing worse than betrayal. Alright, so that didn't piss Abilene off, and Varric was happy about it, so that's uh, about as good as we can ask for. And we're gonna find a way out of here. And find ourselves a new quest. What's this? You won't find better prices. I'll probably find better stuff though. Robes by Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc Picard? No. Okay. Robes. Robes. These are boring robes. Ilwan's hood. Oh, maybe this will be cooler than the one I have. That's already way better than what I have. Now mine has a slot headwear boots of the elder boots all right i'm gonna buy that hood never gonna have any use for that never gonna have any use for that either and we'll just no no that's a dlc thing not a dlc an unlocked thing amulet amulet no no use to me all right Let's get that hood on. Oh, that's way cooler, but now it clashes with my robe. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. Really? Can I dye it? Is there a way to dye things? Hmm. I'll live with it for now. Okay. Now we're gonna head down. We got a whole bunch of quests to do. A whole bunch of them. It's that one. That's the nearest one. This is the Blooming Rose. Ah, right. And Fenril's down there, too. That's Eustace's pommel. Okay, so we got three things we can clear off while we're here. Which is good. Multitasking. It's always good to plan out your route when you're... That's a prostitute. When you're doing errands so that you can get the most done in the shortest time. Yeah, we know all about pausing the game and giving orders to party members. The symbol must mean something. I mean, it looks kind of like a dragon, I guess. And here we are in the brothel. My day is complete. 
Let's not stay here for long. I'll do my best, Adeline. If someone here tries to hire me again, I'm leaving. Oh, Anders. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or Ooh. on him. It's a coterie oh, thing. Eric, you scamp. Hoodies, hoodies, hoodies. I guess I'm wearing a hoodie now. Falling for the trend. Disappointed in me. You can hear that too, right? I'm not just imagining it. Well, this joint is classy. What's that? Design. Rune of Lighting. It's a crafting recipe. Excellent. A rune of Lightning. Sorry, not Lighting. Alright, anything back here? Another box? Opal Fragment? Really, we don't need to... We know it's a brothel. You really don't need to put those sound effects in. Jeez. That is not... Mom says I don't have to listen to you because she makes a trip on what you do. Ugh, boy. This is not where I... He didn't really ask you to wear a feather boa. All Asians, darling. Ah, oh, goodness. A den of ill repute indeed. Nothing against those who work in the sex trade of their own choice, of course. I must learn how to make a shiv? I gotta see this guy. I must learn how to make a shiv. Oh, I guess he's talking to that guy. The usual? Alright, so we're heading upstairs. Go find this guy's wife. So, you married a Templar, huh? What of it? Are they I don't think I can do that. They seem. What? Did he ever ask you to play the naughty mage and the hapless recruit? Maybe the secret desire demon and the upstanding ah, knight? Anders. That's disgusting. I hear it's quite popular. That it is. Uh, it doesn't make it appropriate to discuss, Anders. Okay, there's Jethan. He's a gigolo. Jethan the gigolo. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for he you. He likes balding men. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Yes, I, I get it. I can see why Nanette liked you. You're feisty. <laughs> <laughs> A refreshing change from the pale slug I married. Okay. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Oh, so she's not here. Did she tell you she left her husband? Hmm. No. I just hope that's what she did. I see. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Ninette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level I of see. depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. He probably doesn't, but he also doesn't deserve to be cuckolded. That's just mean. Do you think Ninette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Ninette. Sometimes Ooh. twice a night. <laughs> and that's her choice. Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Goodness me. Ghislaine knew about you and Ninette. Did he talk to you? No. The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corruption. Probably the other life. way around. We had him thrown out. Okay. Were you hoping Ninette would leave Ghislaine no. for you? Of course not. I know my place. I offer a service, that's all. Anyway, there was someone else oh, looking good. for Nanette. A Templar. Oh, no. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me Well, I'm either. definitely not going to. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Sure she isn't a mage? Any chance Nanette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell <sighs> on <her>. Lame. <laughs> Anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Is he her lover? Someone else Nanette spent special alone time with, perhaps? She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him I yourself. I think I will. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation Darkton. in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find <sighs> Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. Yeah, but... Really? Why do I have to talk to this guy again? Alright, we're out of time for this episode. Oh. And uh, when we come back, we're going to see if we can find Annette. We're going to turn in that pommel. And we're going to talk to 
Ephemeral. Until then, all the best.